So Gigabyte sent over their 970 gaming board for me to test out the uh, new AMD Wraith Stock Cooler, but I thought I'd take a look at the board while I'm at it. So here's the kind of uh, walkover and full review. <laughs> Check out our website at techteamgb.co.uk for more info on both this and many other products, and also up-to-date news on all things tech. Stick around for this awesome video. So what you get in the box is the G1 Gaming kind of case sticker, as well as a couple of SATA cables, the IO shield, which is actually quite nice and padded, and the general kind of manuals and stuff that you get with most motherboards. Now the 970 chipset isn't exactly new, it's actually a couple years old, uh, and the same with the chips that go in it, uh, but at the same time it is still a pretty awesome value proposition, so definitely stick around. Some of the really cool features are the new reinforced PCI slots, the 10 gigabit per second M.2, the amp up audio which actually looks to have a removable op amp which is quite cool as well as dip switches to change the gain and killer E2200 Ethernet uh, as well as six upright but still you know quite nice six SAT ports, dual BIOS features if you did want to try and overclock your you know AMD chips and USB type C which is runoff and as media controller that you can see there. Now the rear I.O. is basically six, I believe, USB 2 ports with two of them being DAC up uh, USB 2 ports for audio, PS2 mouse and keyboard sort of combo, as well as USB Type-C and 3.1, USB 3.0, Gigabit Ethernet and full 7.1 audio. Now the board itself, as I said, is an AM3 Plus board, so you get an 8-pin ATX power connector, the standard AMD kind of stock cooler mounting hardware, and four DDR3 RAM DIMMs. That's something to, to make clear. That it is DDR3. Also, you do obviously get uh, the chipset heatsink and the uh, I guess Southbridge heatsink. If is that still is that still a thing? I think it is. Um, as well as the VRM heatsinks as well. This is what it looks like with the Wraith cooler. And if you want to check out the Wraith review, feel free to click the link in the description down below. By the way, if I forget to put the link there, please do remind me in the comments down below as well. And um, but basically, it does look really cool. You have a split PCB section for the audio, which looks really nice. And the BIOS, while not the kind of most uh, you know, beautiful looking thing ever. It's very functional, has a lot of the settings you'd expect and is pretty well laid out. It's actually pretty easy to overclock on this if you so desired, although I personally would recommend using something like a closed lip water cooler if you did want to overclock on one of these chips. So here's my thoughts. So Gigabyte's 970 gaming board is actually pretty awesome, especially considering the kind of general limitations that come with what is essentially an older platform nowadays, especially considering the CPUs are a couple of years old. Now, this board has some actually pretty new features and something that I was quite surprised to see when I was kind of looking at what is essentially just an AM3 Plus board. Things like M.2, which apparently does work with NVMe SSDs, although it is only the 10 gigabit per second version, so you won't be running something like a Samsung's 950 Pro at full speed, um, but it looks like you could at least run it, which is pretty awesome. Also, things like USB 3.1 Type-C, that is available on there and it's really nice to see, but it is being ran through an ASMI media controller which means I don't believe it has Thunderbolt 3 functionality so the you know the kind of hot plugging of displays and stuff like that through that port won't necessarily be available uh, I guess just yet it, it may be something that you know a firm a BIOS upgrade or something may be able to improve but um it's that's the, the the kind of the key thing with it is that it's a really nice board it's just kind of held back by the general platform with as I said obviously these AM3 plus chips being a couple of years old now uh, and the fact that the platform is going to be refreshing fairly shortly is definitely something I would take into mind if I was looking at buying one of these uh, one of these boards and therefore a chip with it now if you want to check out this board in another video the Wraith cooler video that came out last uh, last week on Friday um, is up so if you want to check that out. I'll try and remember to leave a link in the description down below and if I forget feel free to let me know and uh, remind me in the comments um, but basically yeah it's, it is definitely a nice board it's got some nice aesthetics which is why it's getting the Pfeiffer style because it's perfectly functional uh, I'm gonna go with four for functionality although again that's not really Gigabyte's fault that's more the platform um, and in terms of performance it's gonna be a five I'm not really sure why I'm doing this in this order but uh, uh, value for money I'm gonna say is a four and that's not evaluating the CPU that's evaluating this board uh, compared to other boards in the platform um, but it is a pretty good value for money board it certainly has a lot of nice features uh, and overall tech 2 score I'm gonna give it a four as well 
I think it's going to get the silver award because it really does make a good job of what is effectively available and even sometimes not necessarily available on the uh, on the platform. Um, and that's pretty awesome, although it's you know not the highest end board you could ever imagine. So do bear that in mind. Now that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Um, do bear with me over the next few weeks as I have a stomach ulcer and it is incredibly painful. Um, so even just kind of filming this video is quite difficult. So uh, yeah, bear with me on that. Um, but other than that, uh, yeah, uh, check us out on Facebook and Twitter. If you want to help me out, feel free to use the Amazon affiliate link as it help out a lot um, with kind of, yeah, fuel to the hospital and pack. Um, but yeah, other than that, uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.